Hello guys, now I'm gonna go to the new volcanic eruption here in Iceland. Uh, this one started erupting last Thursday and now we have a Tuesday. I've already been there a few times, but now I'm gonna take you with me. So, let's go. the start of the hike just uh, next to the town of Vogar and it's time to walk I think yeah five or six kilometers to the end of the lava field and hopefully we can fly our drones from there this is the start of the hike just walk under this bridge I will maybe put the exact location in the description of the video and maybe you can see the volcano in the far distance and all of the wildfires. There are sticks that you can follow, like the orange one here straight ahead. And this path will take you to the lava field. We have way less smoke than yesterday, which is good news. It takes about one hour with no stops to hike to the edge of the lava field. Yeah, we have now about 12 degrees Celsius, which is uh, quite hot since we have no wind compared to the last few days where the wind was really strong. I think we are halfway there, probably. Look what we have here, crowberries, and if you see those, you can eat them, they are very healthy. Delicious. The path is quite nice, some old fissures on the way. That's one of the reasons why it's better to have a headlamp with you in the in the evening or in the nighttime when hiking here. But look at the smoke coming from the crater. Makes the sky really beautiful. You can see all over the place slack like this that has been spewing from the crater. Okay, now we are gonna find a spot to fly the drones. You can see the wildfires have caused a lot of damage here. But luckily it rained this morning, so we have less vegetation burning compared to yesterday. Dietmar preparing his drone. And I think to the crater we have about two to two and a half kilometers. Go to the running lava.
now we are going to find a spot to fly the drones again over the crater. Let's see how it goes. It was so nice to be in the heat. <laughs> wow, close to the lava. So it's time to head back. We just flew the drones over the area. I hope the shots were nice. The wind direction changed, so we have a lot of smoke now. I don't know if it's visible on the camera, but yeah, I think it's time to go home. On the way, you will also see these cairns to navigate along with the orange sticks. So here's one and the next one is somewhere over there. So you can follow those. We have quite a deep fissure here, as you can see. So you need to watch your step, especially in the dark. Look at this, guys. So beautiful. We are finally back to the car. Hiking back felt like forever. We are so tired, it's almost midnight and time to go home. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next adventure.